Hello everyone, this is Detective DHC and welcome to the DHC Network and today we are here to start my next new Let's Plays and today's Let's Play we're going to play L.A. Neuer. For some of you who have been following me on the channel for quite some time you guys are thinking DHC didn't you just play this game like a year ago? Yes I have. This game was my 300 subscriber special when I reached 300 subscribers so um and you guys ready for this game when I first played this game I'm actually I actually was impressed I actually like this game like it's actually fun you know like yeah you got your free roam like that and then you got your cases it's pretty interesting that's why I like I like this game so I've been wanting to play for quite some time so here we are we're gonna play Eleanor so let's let's go ahead and proceed and, and you know I have a safe data here I'm gonna start a whole new game so um and also let's not forget um I'm, it's th this time, I'm going to get all answers right, and I'm going to find all clues. So, yep, let's begin our new game. So, furthermore, enough of talking. Let's get straight to the video sh or gameplay, shall we? Uh, let's do the, a tutorial case. Guys, we're going to... I got to remember how I played this game. It's been a long time since I played this game, so... A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. Where every man can own his own home, and have room to breathe, and not be overlooked by his neighbors. A city where a man's home is his castle, a quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. The city of opportunists. The city of dreams, where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. The city of pioneers. century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries, that will stretch as far as the eye can see. So for what you guys see here, this takes place in the late the um Corps, you deal with the upon reflection, our first case. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGBL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective. An ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, code 2. Roger, 14 Adam en route. All right, here we go. Let's begin. Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. So here we are, I'll let you guys know, this takes place in late 1940s, well, the early 1950s. So, here we go. We just made it to LOA crime scene. 10, 10 p.m. Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? 
Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon, bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got out places of here. to be. Happy hunting. That guy in the green, you're gonna see him later on. So this here is we a go. Fist hump. Just going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. He's right. So here we go. You hear that music? Which means it's time for some investigation. So let's see what we can find. What's this? A bottle. Look at this junk. No good to me. Yep. Nope, nothing. So this is useless. So let's check out around here. That's another bottle. We see a it's newspaper. Not my job to pick through other people's trash. All right, so these newspapers here, they get taken some some background stories. So we find our first newspaper, and we're gonna go watch a a a, a, a cutscene. So we're gonna go back got, the background story behind it. Doctor Fontaine, could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, Doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr... Sheldon. Or Courtney Sheldon. I'm only in second year, Doctor. They fast-tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes, given the right set of circumstances. Trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. And we try to find ways to unlock the mind again through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. Hypnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hands, Chip. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. A good friend of mine so far away it's like he's wandering you around. went through a lot together yes doctor give me his details and i'll make a prognosis i have a number of clinics in los angeles courtney sheldon and your penance or your friend's help is to come and work at one of them in your spare time with what little spare time a medical student has is that a deal is it ever i i can't thank you enough i'm not promising a cure courtney I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure, for whom he can only smooth the path to death. I tell you, I'm jinxed. I always get landed with this crap. All right, so, yep, there you go. Um, there. I think there's like 13 newspapers in the game. Cole, come take a look at this. Wait, did I claim it? Cause I don't think I think it's also claim it. I believe. All right. Oops. Wrong, wrong, wrong battle. Hang on. I try to get the newspaper. I think you gotta claim it. It's a waste of time. All right. No. Yeah. I think we wa I already we saw it already. So I think that's a, I think that counts. So let's go ahead and go see um Ralph, who's our partner by the way. So let's go see what Ralph's found. Yikes, that looks that looks bad. Blood sting. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Alright, so I guess that's Doesn't everything. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Alright, so let's get out of the inspection. Let's go ahead and walk further. Huh, what's this? Reflection. You can see a gun. I remember Ralph, this. There's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right, don't hurt yourself. All right, let's get out of here. So we gotta find a find a way in to get on top. So is there any ladders or anything? Up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. New towards the drain pipe to climb it. So yeah, here we go, guys. You got 1950 style parkour. You're gonna see a lot of this later on in the game. <laughs> I think it's one of the one things people like about this game. 
Including what myself. What kind of these homicide guys think we are? Alright, we found the gun. Let's expect it. Alright, let me see what we can find. Okay, a serial number. Smith Wesson. Serial S7189. How you doing, Cole? Found it yet? Yes. Two shots Two are fired. Two rounds fired. And instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. And let's go ahead and put the object down. So let's put the gun. And we're going to keep it and bring you it to... You follow up on this now before the perp tries to leave town. Dang. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. All right, let's go ahead and investigate to the gun store. So let's go back to our patrol car. So yeah, pretty much. Um. Are you sure about this? It's not really our gig. Damn, Ralph no is impatient. Digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. That's it's true. Little boy scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? <laughs> I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Cole has a point. He does worry too much. So let's go ahead and get to the car. Oh, yeah. Whatever you do, do not drive to Destiny. Have your partner do it because, one, they're mostly useless, and two, the driving in this game is not easy. So let's go ahead and... You're behind Make the him wheel. drive, so let's go to the gun store. Alright, here we go. Let's get in the car while we wait for Ralph to get in the car. Man. I, I forgot how awesome this game was. Gun store, 10 16 p.m. Alright, let's go inside the gun store. Go ahead, the doors allow you to enter. So if it's if you see gold, you go in. But if not, you can't. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson. Model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357. Nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Pat. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? Yeah, so let's look at the orders. Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. All right, Model 27. All Here's all the list of guns, so... um, Now we're looking at all these revolvers. We're looking for a 27 model with pearl grip. Where can we find it? Um, Where is... Where, there it is. Um, there it is. Four barrel Polish nickel pearl grip. It looks like we found the name. Errol. Good luck, Errol Schroeder. 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Yeah, Errol Schroeder's Thanks, the, been a big the help. possible Anytime. suspect. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. All right, let's get out of the gun store. Let's go to Schroeder's apartment. Yeah, Do so. We it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. All right, go ahead and drive. You drive. I need to oh. go over the case notes. Yeah, me, exactly. Here we go. They're waiting for um, Ralph to get in the car. Oh, I missed this song, too. Oh, my God. That wasn't game. so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One-of-a-kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name? If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of it. Schroeder's apartment, 10.22 p.m. All right, let's go to his apartment. All right, let's. This should be. This should be the entrance because we see a gold, gold handed doors are allowed to enter. Yeah, I know already. Okay, we found our first clue. He is at apartment two. Schroeder, apartment two. All right, let's go ahead and go upstairs. 
Alright, where is apartment two? This should be the one. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. All right, it's time to fight. Oh, I gotta, Ready? I gotta f get used to the. Oh, there you go. I got the controls. All right, let's, let's. Whoa! He took my hat off. Oh hell no! I gotta get my hat back too. Let's go ahead and beat up on um, Schroeder. Dang, this guy's easy. He's even trying. There you go. Make him. Yeah, that's right. Lay down. Oh my God! I missed the Ralph, fighting in this game. You all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. All right, where's my Keep hat? Him, Ralph. I'm gonna take a look around. All right, we got. We're looking for our hat back. Investigation music plays when you enter a crime scene or location of interest. So, here we go, guys. The music is on. Let's go ahead and investigate. All right, let's see if there's anything else besides maybe another newspaper. Hmm. I don't know why this makes me laugh when you grab something. Maybe. If <laughs> I miss that when Pro Cole Phelps just say something like seems irrelevant. So let's go check out the dresser. All right, let's let's deep let's look inside to it. All right, let's turn the page. Floyd Rose. List of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, badge 1247, requesting. Fucking sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but... Excuse me? Fuck you. You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for... I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. So that right there, um, they will show cutscenes of Cole Feltz's um background. So um, well, you so, picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest. All right, so right here we're gonna stop right here, and before I end this video, um, I'm gonna say that that those cutscenes it just takes place on Cole Feltz's um background story because he was a World War II veteran. So um, pretty much um, they will show that along with you know all that stuff. So. It, and that is the end of the first case. Um, we're gonna end this right here because we're gonna go case by case. So we're gonna end, end. We're still in the patrol um desk. Go. So we're gonna end this. I'm gonna wrap this up here. So um, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give a thumbs like new here, my subscribe. This is L.A. Noir um case number one, a primary reflection in the patrol desk. So as always, thank you for watching. 
I'll see you guys in the next video, and welcome to the DHC Network. This is Detective DHC saying, signing out.